very, very late dinner. It's half past nine. We thought we would do a bit of a Q&A while we eat our dinner, but it is going to be very much while we're eating because I am so hungry. So if you're not into eating and talking at the same time, then I totally get that. And this is probably not for you because I need to eat some of this food. Um, what are they we, just called? Mukbang. Mukbangs, yeah. This was about to be a cook with us, um, but there was just a lot going on in the kitchen. I could tell... It wasn't going to end well. It was well, going to end. What we're having. It was going to end in a fight. Okay, go on then. What are we having? It's kind of a fusion dish. Mm -hmm. um, really yummy, by the way. It's really good. It's like a Thai noodle soup, but actually, there is nothing Thai in it. Um, in what sense? Thai is they use a lot of fish sauce and mm. and soy sauce and mm. like an oyster sauce, but obviously this is a vegan version, so substituted with. A Japanese soy sauce and obviously Japanese noodles. Mm -hmm. So this is actually more of like a ramen, really. Yeah, um, closer to a ramen, but inspired by Thai boat noodle soup, which stayed in Thai because I can never koi koi til koi til koi til in Thai. Do you want to ask the questions? Actually, I feel like if you ask oh, them, yeah, you can take the lead, and then we'll both answer them. Or if they're specifically for you or me, we can take it from there. We may as well just start at the top, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. Well, the first question is, what's my plan when I retire from football? But we could change that a little bit. Um, we, we <laughs> I don't know if that's how this works. <laughs> not sure if we could just change the questions. It's, it's but... a bit of a fusion Q and A. Okay. A fusion vibe tonight. Okay, right. that's fine. Um, Kenny's version of the Q and A here, but we'll take so it. So, what's my plan when I retire from football? Let's change it and sort of, what's our plan really mm -hmm. in ten years? Mm -hmm. um, it is always hard to answer that, so um, I'll let you start. No, you can I've actually seen it all now. I've, I've seen it all I'll ask the question. Yeah, so yeah. I'll change the question mm -hmm. into a question I want to ask. You want to ask, and then you'll make me answer it. So you'll make the question impossible. This is Hannah Adkins' YouTube. Let's have a Hannah, Hannah Adkins, Adkins answer, okay. Yeah. Our plan. The thing is... Basically... Um, go on, I'm going to interrupt you again. Uh huh, go on. In a holistic yeah. view. Okay. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? How do you see your life in 10 years? Oh, we're changing the question again. That is the same question, mm -hmm. roughly. Mm hmm. Um. You know, that. Yeah, it's very hard to answer because Kenny, there's so many moving parts with Kenny's job. Obviously, he has played football in Australia, he's played football in Holland, he now plays football in England, and we have no idea when that might change or anything like that. So it's very hard to kind of plan for the future, but I feel like it's hard for anyone to plan for the future, really, but that does add an extra layer of complication. So I'll give the simple answer because it's kind of all we know. In 10 years, I would just like to be happy, married, babies, a home that we're really happy in, and a life that we've built together that we're really happy with. I feel like that's the really simple. I don't know what I don't know what your answer looks like to that. Do you have a more specific what's that? Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Do, do you agree with that though, honestly, or is there anything that you would add to that? Yeah, I think there is like that is a beautiful life. That's what um, life's about, really, yeah. Yeah, obviously you can get the flashy stuff and mm. um, that doesn't always work in terms of making you happy. Making you happy, so why not just try and get a nice simple happy main, family full happy life? Mm. With the woman I love. That was a nice answer, I like that. Go on then, do you are you do you feel like you're on a roll with these questions? You can you can just pick them, because to be honest. I can only apologise for how I'm eating because I'm hungry, so I'm not trying to eat nicely or oh, um, in a... You don't want to see this girl when she's hungry. Yeah, it, no one wants to see that, so I'm just eating, so... Right, mm -hmm. next. Mm -hmm. Oh, to be honest, it's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> how old was I when I left Australia? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, it's coming on 10 years now. Yeah. Um, so I was 21. Yeah. When I left. I can't get these noodles. Sorry, yeah, if anyone's was... <laughs> trying to listen to Kenny, but watching me attempt the same noodles 20 times. These are soba noodles. Yeah. 
Go on, sorry, carry on, I interrupted you. Well, the short answer is I was 21. Um, mm -hmm. um, You've lived in Europe ever since. Yeah. Mm. I've been in England for six years. Six years? So you were here two years before you met me, were you? 2018, I moved here. Mm. I don't know, but we'll round it up this year. We'll read a few. We'll, you know what? You do exactly what you want to do. Go for it. Anna right. is one of these people who mm -hmm. say, go on, you do it, we'll do it your way, and then we'll try and guide your answers into her way. <laughs> my mum moans that my dad does that as well. She says, somehow my dad, like my mum was saying this to me the other day, she was saying, somehow your dad always says to me, yeah, you know, agrees with my mum, says that we'll do it my mum's way. And then she realises somewhere down the line that somehow at some point it ended up being they've done it my dad's way. So maybe I got that skill from my dad. But I'm going to honestly let you take the reins. Go for it. Ask any questions you want. This is good, isn't it? This is nice. Yeah, this is, the broth is really good today. When can we get a sibling? That's what I'm saying. I'll answer that. Um, that is the question everyone is waiting for an answer on. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I think that is. Funny. I think it's too much work, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I would say, I I would say, I feel like this is a very head and heart kind of answer because in my heart there is nothing. Every single day I send dogs to Kenny, like little dogs that need homes, just saying like a sibling for you, a sibling for you. Um, and I would love nothing more than to get rid of a sibling. I really would love that. But in my head, in the sensible part of my head, I do know that it's probably not the right time, just because we currently take Rue everywhere with us. She comes everywhere that we go, and I absolutely love that, but I can't help but feel that that would probably be a lot harder if we had to. So I think maybe when we live a bit closer, or if we ever live a bit closer to family and stuff, where we can have more help with the dogs, then we'd probably get another one, would you say? Like, would, are you open to getting another one one day, or is it kind of just like a not sure ever? Well, to me, it's... Yeah, that's not something on my list, to be mm. honest. Anyway, that's kind of the answer to that for now. For now, because things could change and I could just come home one day with a dog. You never know. Well, there is plenty of good ones here. Mm -hmm. Laurie has asked Yeah. how to build your own life when moving with your boyfriend to a new city. I know that's not specific to us, but... It kind of is. That's we've done it a couple of times, so... Well, it's specific to me, isn't it? Obviously, I left everything at home to come and live with you. But you've moved away, so I don't know whether, when you first went to Holland, whether you have any advice or... When you move in with someone, you have to make sure your life's happy without them. And then you'll enjoy your time together more. Yeah, I think it's a lot of pressure on a relationship. And we definitely felt that, just being honest, in the start. It's a lot of, a, a lot of pressure on a relationship if all that one person has is the other person which was a little bit like me right at the beginning because I'd moved away from everything that I know um, to be with Kenny and I'll do it again obviously it's worked out amazingly well for us we're still here um, but I think there was an adjustment period where I needed to well just exactly what Kenny said really I needed to find what was going to fulfill me as well um, outside of our relationship that's what you mean I guess yeah, you need yeah. to be individually happy before you can be happy together. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a good point. But I think the important things are, number one, to focus on yourself and what's going to make you feel good. So for me, I started my YouTube channel actually when I first, not when I first moved in with Kenny, but when we realised that I was probably going to be up north um, for a while, for the foreseeable, that's when I started my YouTube channel because I found that that really gave me kind of a creative outlet. I felt really connected because I could interact with you guys. Um, and that was really, really helpful for me. But I think it's about finding something that kind of fills your spare time while you're building friendships with new people. And on the note friendships with new people, I think it's just really important to make sure that you don't just stay in the house, as much as that's definitely the easier option and I could take my own advice sometimes. But I think just getting out, going to the gym, going out for coffee, um, just being out and about, it's way more likely obviously that you'll meet friends and if you go to things that you really enjoy, then you're more likely to meet people who are like-minded. Um, and that's what I would say. I would say find something to do on your own that makes you really happy and then put yourself out there a little bit to make friends. Would you say good answer? I know it's not really directed at you, but would you say that's fair? Yeah, that's fair. Would you live in a different country? 
Go on um, and take it away. Well, I definitely would. Um, mm -hmm. I would live in a place that is a little bit warmer, mm. to be honest. Kenny's much more naturally inclined to be like a traveller than I am. I have obviously always been in England. I was born here, grew up here, have only ever been in England, whereas Kenny's much more accustomed to, you know, having lived in Australia, having lived in Holland, having lived in England. Um, but I think there are a few places, maybe, maybe just one place actually, on our list that kind of ticks everyone's box and makes everyone happy so I think we're not ruling anything out but for now at least for the foreseeable I think it will probably be England but then maybe one day maybe one day we'll try something new what do you love most about each other and what do you dislike let's be honest you've asked that question mostly so that you could answer the dislike part haven't you yeah but we'll get we'll get to that later okay Am I answering that first then? I don't know, really. What do you love about me? Obviously that she's got to narrow it down a bit. Oh yeah, because the list would be so long. There's not one thing that I can say as an answer to this. I feel like I'm just going to give you the general, general gist of what I love about Kenny. He is really loyal, really trustworthy, caring, committed, reliable, calm. <coughs> gorgeous um no he's just always been you just always be kenny was never one to play games at all never gave me any doubts never gave me anything to worry about was always really clear from the start that he was serious about me and only wanted to be with me and i just think that's really manly and really mature and has been just as committed as that every day in our relationship since so why have I got nearly tears in my eyes? Um, do you want to say what you love about me and then we'll do the dislikes? I feel like that's not ruin the moment with the dislikes. Um, well, obviously I've got to narrow it down because there is an endless list. Mm -hmm. it. Why does that feel like Sarah Cousin? Um, she is quite thoughtful. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, if she's out, she's getting lunch. She's in her head thinking, what would I want? Mm. You're probably bringing me home something. Mm -hmm. um, which will be eaten in about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Which will then be inhaled in one mouthful. <laughs> like, I've gone to a bakery, I've picked him out the cake or the whatever that I think he'll want the most. Come home, give it to him. Oh, thank you. Walk out the room, walk back in. Gone. <laughs> Gone. And she'll go, was that nice? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Fine. Yeah, it was good. Fine. Mm -hmm. My thing is little gifts and stuff. I feel like that's how I show everyone that I love, that I love them. Family, friends, obviously Kenny, Rue even. I'm always buying stuff for Rue. Um, but it's nice that you well, notice that because you don't always know. You can show the viewers your Rue's toy basket, sorry, if you want, and it's overflowing, so. Mm -hmm. I was actually, do you remember when you put me on a toy van? Kenny said I couldn't buy any more toys for Rue. By the way, we need to, work out what we're going to get ready for Christmas. Dislike is a really mean word, but I'll say the thing that maybe we like fight about most or our differences or I don't know, what's most frustrating. No, it's like um, what annoys you. Yeah, dislike just sounds really mean, doesn't it? I don't dislike you. Oh, not Inter for you. You're thinking hate would be better. This, no, it's just interpretation. We all know what it means. Okay, fine. What do I dislike about you? Kenny can be very stubborn, so a lot of the time it's Kenny's way or no way. And it's not about everything, but the things that he's fussy about, no, you cannot disagree with that. The things that you're particular about, you are very, very particular about. And what's my annoying thing? I already know what this is going to be. I, like, I could say it myself, but go on. Go well, on. Well, if you want to say it, you could say it. No, go on. I've heard it before. You just untie Messy is, is another term. Any more words? Any more synonyms? Mm. Mm -mm. A room that was once clean is a room that Hannah's not been in. <laughs> I just, I we were talking about this earlier, but Sorry. I my wardrobe is coming tomorrow. Okay, I finally, finally, I'm gonna have my wardrobe room whenever we get around to putting it together, which needs to be this week, really. Once I finally have my wardrobe room, I won't have an excuse anymore because right now I don't have a wardrobe. And I don't have anywhere to store my hair tools, my overflow of like bathroom products and stuff. So 
I'm not going to disagree with you. I can be a little bit messy. And we'll see how it goes, won't we? All right, next question. Mm -hmm. Well, what was your favourite Christmas movie, seeing this as Vlogmas? Yeah, um, good one. It says to watch together, but well, obviously we can give individual ones as well. Mm -hmm. um, Do you know what my favourite one is? Well, it's not really a Christmas movie, but for some reason, Harry Potter always gets played. Yeah. Um, Harry Potter is probably the one that we watch together, really. Yeah. It's like a bit of nostalgia, like, obviously we grew up in a time where Harry Potter, like we grew up with Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of just a winter movie that gives you comfort, that's what you're looking for. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. What but do you let's make? stick to the script. Okay, what's the Get script? Get HP. HP's gone. Okay. Never right. invented HP. One of others was like burnt as a kid. Like, why is this? Why? It's it's just, what's ha why? What's happening here? I don't know, Apple have bought it and shut it down. Okay, but why are, so we're not allowed to say Harry Potter? Yeah, like it's been, the movie. Vetoed? Yeah, the movie, okay. it's just like forbidden. Mm -hmm. uh, but why is this? Because you don't think it's a proper Christmas film? Or are we just coming up no, with a different example? No, it's just, no example. Uh, unrealistic scenario has happened, you can't watch HP. Okay. Next. Um, Next best. I know what yeah. mine are, you think of yours. Lauren. Okay, I would say The Holiday, because The Holiday is up there with probably one of three films. And the Cotswold one. Yeah. Well, it's not, I think it's actually filmed in Surrey, but it will be the one you think with, um... Why is her Jennifer. name? Jennifer. Well, no, what's her name, Kenny? Why is her name gone completely out of my head? The main, with Jude Law and... Oh, um... Come on. Spice, uh, Palm Angel, what's it called? Charlie's Angel. Yes, yeah. so what's she called? Why is Palm Angel. Palm Angel, what's her, <laughs> what's her name? It's not the end of it. My brain has completely... Diaz. Cameron Diaz, that's it. That one, or I have to say, I love the um, Pixar, like the animated Grinch. I absolutely love that film. I could watch that time and time again. Pixar. Fun fact was invented by him. Steve Jobs. <laughs> is, does everyone know that fact? Am I stupid no, for not knowing? I don't know. It is, it's like a relevant, it's like pub quiz fact. Do you want to tell the people about that? The people. The people. Go on then, you can tell that story. Um, well, obviously me and Hannah were in Australia in the summer. Mm -hmm. the, the English summer. Um, so six months ago. And I had some friends that live on the Gold Coast, so we met them and we went for dinner um, in this pub. Yeah. And it was full, fully booked out, so the only place we could sit was it in the room where, in they, the were room doing. where they had a pub quiz. Yeah. So we decided, yeah, well, let's do that. We entered it. There was four of us, obviously, me, Hannah, and the other couple. Yeah. Um, Bearing in mind all the other teams were in groups of like six or yeah, eight. Yeah, they were like six, seven, eight heads. Yeah, so we were the smallest team. We had team. four heads. And we ended up winning. <laughs> we were pleased with that. I couldn't. Very pleased with that. Could not believe it. I think yeah. it was a real team effort. I feel like Dylan. He carried the button. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kenny's friend did a lot of the heavy lifting. But I answered the last question. Do you remember that? I had to go up to the front. Remember? And give me the sure, answer. you were given the answer, like, but. Anyway, that was good. We should do another pub quiz. I actually really enjoyed that. That's the only pub quiz that I've done in my life, I think. Turns out I'm pretty good at them. And where were we? Christmas movie. Yeah. So what's um, yours? I, I know what mine are. I can't imagine what yours would be. Well, I don't like... Probably Home Alone. Mm -hmm. um, the New York one. I don't know which one that is. Two? It's the New York... Oh, I, I'm used to things like that. The New York one. Yeah, that's a really good one. Because I do like New York. We love New York. Um, we're going quick fire now. We're going quick fire. Okay, I'm ready. So, I'm nearly done, so... One word, one sentence answers. Do we this to three or four questions? Three or four. Last questions. Last three or four. Quick fire. One word. One sentence. Go. First two questions of me. <laughs> Go. I'm going. Just let me think of a good word. Cheeky. You? Interesting. No, you? No, no, no. no, no. You are answering them too. Go. Stunning. <laughs> I really you say this nice. Sounds sarcastic. But did you mean that or not? You know you're laughing, so what really was it? No, you, do, you are. Can I ask a question, stunning? Out of my league? More fur babies. We've answered, yeah, we answered that one. One day. No. 
Would you get a cat? Mm. No, because I'm allergic. But I do really like them. I'm not, not a cat person, but I'm allergic. No, I don't really know what to do with them. You've never had a cat? Doesn't mean I dislike them, but... You've just never had one, so you don't know. Yeah. yeah. Next. <clears throat> um, when did you both know you really loved each other? When? Day one. Give an honest answer. It's quick fire. But when I opened up to Kenny about my anxiety and just how he handled that and the things that he said to me is when I realised that I definitely loved him. When we moved in together and you didn't annoy me <laughs> and we got on. <laughs> Do you remember when we first said I love you? No. Yes you do, because I ask you this all the time and then I remind you. In Dublin, remember? The first trip together. Yeah, it was, Val it was Valentine's Day, a bit cringe, but... Um, and you asked me to be your girlfriend and we said I love you all in the same weekend. What was the first meal he cooked for you? I've got no idea. I've honestly got absolutely no idea. Would you consider opening a restaurant, becoming a chef after retirement? That was obviously aimed at me. Um, no. <laughs> I think it's too much work, mm. to be honest. I was going to say, at least elaborate, um, because I don't know why. I've always liked the idea of being a chef, yeah, but I feel like it's too much work, to be honest. Let me ask a question on behalf of all of you. Cookbook? Question mark? Watch Maybe. this space. Maybe. That's, that sounds so leading. We're not working on a cookbook right now. <laughs> that makes it sound like this one coming next year. We're not working on one, but also it's something we do talk about and we would never say another. Um, Can I ask one for I her? would, yeah, but the problem is with cookbooks is you've got to like write everything down. I kind of just yeah, that's so put true. things in and taste it and then adjust. Yeah, that's true. That really is Which true. Which I guess you could do. You just have to think about it. It would be... Yeah, we'd have to put some work into it, but it doesn't mean we couldn't do it. You get to ask one more, then I'm asking one, because I've not even looked at these questions, so I'm going to pick one final question. I'll try and pick one that's been asked a lot. So last one, and then I get one, and then we're done. Uh, what are your love languages? Mm. We've kind of discussed this... We've kind of discussed <laughs> this already. Um, Mine is giving gifts, that's probably the biggest one, but then also really specific to like a romantic relationship, I would say I also need like physical touch, kisses, hugs, all that stuff, and sometimes words, just sometimes, like you'd, everyone likes to be told nice things sometimes, and then yours. Um, acts of kindness. Service. Service. Is the, that's how you show it, but is that also how you like, to, is that how you feel loved as well when I do things for you? I think so, but I don't know. Yeah. Like is when I like... give you kisses and stuff, it doesn't, it's not that you don't like it, but that's not how you feel loved, No, it? that's, obviously I like it, yeah, but it's perfect, perfect girl would be like... So hang on, whoa, 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 I'm not the perfect girl. No, 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 no. The... I'd the... watch how you phrase this. The more... Perfect, idealistic girl. Okay, I can give you some perfect, idealistic men if you want. But go. Look, I've answered this question. <laughs> go on, what? What are you trying to say? I'd wake up that. Oh, I'd wake up that. Mm -hmm. Beans would be out. Beans would be out? Beans are on the street. Right. Out. Um, I'm not even going to say breakfast in bed because I would rather do it myself. Exactly. Um, it's one of those, it's just like things just being. Yeah, done. But then what would be left for you to show me? Anything I want to do. It's not, no, no. No, 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 we're talking about you showing me love. Okay, but if I did all of that, there would be no way left for you to show me that you love me. Oh, we've done it. Right, okay, so what we found out is we've got different love languages, and unfortunately, I'm not Kenny's perfect girl because I don't get up and take fits out. What's that cut? No, I get to ask my last question. <laughs> I, uh, you have not. He has held the phone for this entire Q&A and I've not even read action. my questions. I'm just going to try and find one that we've not answered at all and that's come up a few times. Okay, we're still on a quick fire. Do you want 
babies. One day. Yes. Yeah, one day. And we're done. That is a wrap. You can. No, that's like action, isn't it? That's like star, isn't it? No. Huh? No, no, that's action. <laughs> So it must come to a close as well. I don't know. How do you, go on then, Emda. How how do you how do you close the scene? <laughs> Clap ourselves out. Are you doing the outro as well? Is this your channel now? Would you like to go on by all means, Kenny? Why stop now? No, look, they've, they've, it's your channel. They've had enough of me. Um, we are. I think every, quite honestly, everyone's had enough of you. I wouldn't be now. cheeky. Right? Okay, we're going to leave the video there. Hopefully we answered, I think we did answer pretty much all of the questions when I had a quick flick through. We should have really. put these candles really well. I know, but they melt so quickly, don't they? Anyway, I hope that answered most of the questions. I hope you enjoyed pretty much the channel takeover by Kenny. If you comment enough that you enjoyed it, we might get another appearance. We might, I'm telling you, he likes... You know, like guest appearances is like a one-off, isn't it? No, no, no. That's he why likes... Called, that's why it's called a special. But I'm telling you, if there are enough nice comments about him, Kenny reads all of the comments, as I said a couple of videos ago. So if we want Kenny convinced to be back on the channel at any point. We could rename the channel if it gets serious, but we'll leave it as... <laughs> we could rename my channel, could we? We could leave it as, what's it was called? I don't know what it is. What would, what would we... What is your channel called? Is that your app? Is that your yeah, channel? yeah, yeah, it's just Hannah Atkins. So I, what I would just like to leave this video with, a parting gift to everyone, is what would we be renaming the channel to? Kenny and Co. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will, we will, it's already happening, and I will, probably we, I don't know, one of us, both of us, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.